everybody loves Bitcoin. The volatility, the lore, the memes. But for the most part, it's been a pretty straightforward asset class. Buy, hold, sell, repeat. Goat Network has launched with the goal of bringing scalable DeFi opportunities directly to the Bitcoin ecosystem. It's an exciting mission to bring more utility to the OG cryptocurrency, but also an increasingly competitive one as more and more Bitcoin layer twos are popping up. Where GOAT wants to differentiate is, it wants to be the first Bitcoin layer two to offer true Bitcoin denominated sustainable yield to both retail and institutional investors. So let's talk key features. First and foremost, you can earn real yield in BTC. The star of the GOAT network is YBTC. It's a yield bearing BTC asset that really captures what this project is all about. Here's how it works. You stake your BTC or Doge, mint YBTC, and start earning steady, sustainable BTC rewards. Unlike other DeFi protocols where yield is often tied to native tokens, GOAT's model is all about providing Bitcoin based returns, which makes this yield model one of a kind. For institutional investors, GOAT's approach could open the door to new BTC native fixed income products, making the network's sustainable yield proposition especially attractive as the DeFi ecosystem matures. Next, we have the proof of activity mechanism. Proof of activity is a relatively new consensus algorithm that brings together aspects of proof of work and proof of stake. The idea is once the last Bitcoin is mined, there will be no more rewards given to miners who validate the network. At this point, the only ROI for miners will be transaction fees, which will probably not be enough to sustain their interest. So by adding staking, this allows miners to have a new way of meeting their financial interests. This mechanism also incentivizes both sequencer nodes, which are the backbone of the L2 network, and stakers to participate actively. The more involved users are, the more they stand to earn not just with passive staking, like in POS, but through ecosystem engagement, like POW. This is great because more activity helps secure the network and getting more people involved who otherwise wouldn't be helps to decentralize the network even further. So connecting this back to GOAT and how you can start earning, the One Piece project is the mechanism that enables users to stack airdrop points through proof of activity. So you'll want to start there and we'll talk a little bit more about the One Piece project a little later. So next we have multi-asset staking and compatibility. This platform isn't just for Bitcoin maxis. Goat Network lets you stake either BTC or Doge. They also prioritize ease of use, supporting a breadth of wallet integrations, including MetaMask, Unisat, OKX, Phantom, Coinbase Wallet, and more. So whether you operate on the EVM or on the Bitcoin side, onboarding is relatively frictionless. And finally, with GOAT, we have a growing, innovative DeFi ecosystem. On launch, GOAT users can tap into several native dApps. For example, there is GOAT Swap for decentralized trading and meme coin launches, similar in spirit to Uniswap or Pump Fun. We also have Avalon Finance, which is an omnichain liquidity hub, enabling lending, borrowing, and upcoming stablecoin initiatives. Another dApp you can peruse is Artemis Finance, which you can use for liquid staking, empowering users to stake BGC while receiving LST receipt tokens, which can then be used across the ecosystem. The best way to think of Goat Network's dApps offerings is in two categories, earn and play. You can earn through BTC Fi dApps such as GoatSwap, Avalon, and Artemis, and coming soon, Stable Jack. For play, you can engage with dApps such as Growfitter, which is an RWA and brand NFTs rewards platform, OnePlay, Goat Rocket, and Up Only for launching memes. Goat has integrations with popular Web3 tools like a safe multi sig wallet and third party bridges like Stargate Finance. That will make it easier for current Web3 users to start exploring the chain. Introducing a zero knowledge rollup tech stack. Goat Network is launching a new zero knowledge rollup tech stack that helps keep both cross chain bridge assets and the L2 network safe. It uses clever ways to check transactions like ZK MIPS zero knowledge proofs 
and BitVM's optimistic challenge model. And it relies on a decentralized sequencer network. So users' funds stay secure as long as at least one honest participant is involved. Stay tuned for more details coming soon. But let's get back to sustainable yield with YBTC. BTC yield is baked into GOAT Network's economic model. Here's how it works. Every chain earns revenue from transaction fees. Most keep the revenue to themselves, but GOAT Network shares the revenue with sequencers, meaning both sequencer node operators and people who stake BTC, BTCB, or DogeB into sequencers earn real BTC yield. Why BTC yield and not another token? Because all transactions are paid in BTC gas fees. Thus, the more transactions on chain, the higher the yield. So let's talk about getting started and the One Piece project. Goat just launched its mainnet, and it's kicking off with the One Piece project, a fun way to get early users involved and to reward active participants. Let's give it a go. So first, you want to stake BTC or Doge. Deposit your assets into Goat sequencers to start earning BTC yield and airdrop points. Bridge assets. You're going to want to move your BTC or Doge over to the GOAT network. You can mint NFTs. Participate in the project by minting limited edition NFTs and completing on-chain tasks for additional rewards. And finally, try out the ecosystem. Get hands-on with GOAT Swap, Avalon, Artemis, Oku, or Growfitter to maximize rewards and to get familiar with the network at the same time. The One Piece project boosts rewards for new users and offers points toward a future GOAT airdrop, meaning the more you explore the ecosystem, the more you stand to be rewarded. So let's talk pros and cons. Here are some of the pros. Well, first of all, sustainable BTC yield. This is a rare opportunity for true yield on Bitcoin holdings. Next is the innovative L2 design. It enhances scalability and transaction efficiency without compromising Bitcoin's core security. There's a rich DAP ecosystem with a comprehensive suite of DeFi apps from day one. There's also flexible staking because it supports both BTC and Doge. We really like the generous onboarding campaign, boosted rewards and airdrop incentives for early users who come on with the One Piece project. And finally, broad wallet support. It's compatible with both EVM and Bitcoin wallets. And a couple of cons. First, the navigation is a little bit complex. There are multiple dApps and features that may be overwhelming for DeFi newcomers. However, we do know that Goat Network is working on a new dashboard that will have huge buttons for earn and play that will hopefully streamline the process for new users who are excited to start earning BTC with this platform. The other con is, of course, a limited history. Long-term sustainability and real-world performance remain to be observed. Our final thoughts on the Goat Network? Well, Goat Network's launch introduces new possibilities for Bitcoin Fi that I'm sure everyone in DeFi will be watching. Goat Network's innovations in bridging Bitcoin with DeFi opens up a whole new world of opportunities for both traditional BTC holders and for DeFi enthusiasts. With its unique approach to generating yield, Goat Network has the potential to further revolutionize the decentralized finance space. As always, stay informed and keep an eye on this promising project.